Hello fellow mutants, welcome back to another video, and in this video we're going to talk about how apparently Bob Iger, being the CEO of Disney, had rejected them, uh, all their, like, to pretty much re-theme the, uh, Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser, which probably led to, was probably helped lead to the downfall of the Star Cruiser. Now, before I get into the article, I want to say that I, that I also have stated in the past where I think what could have helped the Star Cruiser outside of like literally cutting the prices literally in half is to like have like maybe each month or each like two or three weeks be themed in the Pacific Trilogy, like, maybe three weeks a month be prequel themed, three weeks a month be original trilogy themed, three, week, three weeks the, uh, to a month be prequel trilogy themed. That way, like, it can pander to all three, like, people who are, like, fans of the prequels, fans of the originals trilogy, or fans of the sequels. So, it can literally be for everyone. That, and like I said, cutting the prices in half, at the very least, would have definitely helped the longevity of the Star Cruiser, for sure. Well, with that said, let's get into the article. The Walt Disney Company CEO Bob Iger rejected ideas to re-theme Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser or offer tours to day guests. Um. Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser will be permanently closed in this September after a little more than a year and half a uh, half of operation. Disney has not stated what will happen to the facility after that, but there will there were behind the scenes conversations about retheming Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. According to the rap, there were talks about turning Star Wars Galactic Star Cruisers into an experience, experience inspired by the Mandalorian, perhaps the most popular Star Wars property right now. It would have suggested to give a day guest tours of the hotel that would include access to the bar, dinner, and a gift shop. That would have... I'm telling you, that would have helped the Star Cruiser. That would have helped it. CEO Bob Iger decided to instead to shut Galactic Star Cruiser down. As a Disney insider told The Wrap, only a small portion of wealthy guests were able to visit Star Wars Galactic Star Cruisers. Once you, were, once you went through the one percenters who ca could afford it and the fanatical Star Wars fans who would sell their mothers to do it, you were done, they said. Another Disney insider told the rap, no one connected to this came off well. So, like I said, even that was of help, being Mandalorian themed. Mandalorian. Even though, like, season three might have been, like, might have been met with mixed reactions. Uh, or, like, at the moment. I don't know, so maybe season four could, like, make season three's weakness less of a weakness and more of a strength, if you get my meaning. But like Mandalorian, like they said, is debatably Disney's best Star Wars thing. For Star Wars right now. So even doing the Mandalorian would have made that like the longevity of the Galactic Star Cruiser even longer, you know? But of course they didn't, and that's disappointing. Um. Anyways, last week Disney made the surprise announcement that they'd be closing their themed hotel aimed to immersive storytelling permanently after one year and a few months of operation. Star Cruiser has been burned since before its opening, shrouded in financial troubles, budget cuts, high prices, low occupancy, and inconsistent levels of satisfactions when individuals compare when 
compare what was delivered with what was initially promised in conceptual stages. Above all, the struggling resort was prohibitively expensive for the vast majority of potential interested guests, with costs frequently exceeding multiple thousands of dollars for a brief two-night stay. Several night days ago, the forest is lit. Several days ago, the oh, they have a link for another one. So, like, like I said, the cost was another issue. First off, like I said earlier, them having it be like prequel themed, original trilogy, like prequel themed for like three to four weeks, original trilogy themed three to four weeks, sequel trilogy team themed, which is what they currently have, be three to four weeks, change it like every month so that way you can actually pander to like all, f like to every single era of Star Wars fans, so you won't exclude them. It will be, that will, will have garnered more interest in the Star Cruiser, right? With a theme, like one month in one trilogy era, another do another trilogy era, the, the other one do the trilogy era you had done before, and then go on that cycle. I'm telling you, the Star Cruiser will last at least three years at least with the high prices and then addressing the higher prices cut that in half at the very least if not more because i feel like it being so freaking expensive the star cruiser being as pricey as like some mortgages be as pricey as like college debt by the time you're done with college yeah Nobody has time for to save up that type of money. Really? Like, only like the filthy witch people could do that. I... I would... If I could, I would go to the Star Cruiser just for like a one-time thing. Just to see how it was. I, I absolutely would. If Disney paid for my way to Florida and to the Star Cruiser, I would go. Just to, to give you guys my honest review. I'm not going to like super code any shit. If it was good, it was good. It was bad, it was bad. It was eh, it was eh. But, like I said, cutting the price in half would have significantly helped the Star Cruiser. It's longevity. And it would have been way more profitable than does now, than is has been apparently. So, and sadly, Disney didn't do that. It's sad, but A should be one of those people. But Disney essentially did that to themselves. Not so much, like in my opinion, it's not so much with the whole like it being stuck in the sequel trilogy timeline. That could like. That can easily be another reason, because it was stuck in the sequel trilogy timeline. And there are some people that dislike the sequel trilogy, which is where like, my theming idea, every month and then change to the next one, and then every, the, the month after, change it to the third trilogy, right? But the prices were too damn expensive. Cut it at least half. You would have been, like, profiting a bit more. Probably... If you only did it in a sequel trilogy like you did, it will probably have lasted until like 2024. At least. To 2025. Maybe. But anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. And may the force be with us all.